Well, welcome back. So today we are talking about, I'm showing you into, I've taken a long video and I've separated it into little segments just in case you haven't seen it or you don't wanna watch the whole, like my top curriculum picks, my favorite curriculum picks. I've separated it into little different elements for you to enjoy. So I'll give you one a day for the next couple days. And hopefully after you see this, I will be back from moving and I will have all the new STEM products, some new curriculum to show you, gifted curriculum that's super cool that anyone can use and it's it's just, it's like mini study in. So I can't wait to show you it all and all the STEM products I have. All right, talk to you soon. Bye-bye. It's fun. Now remember, I bought like every curriculum known to man, okay? So when I tell you these are my favorites, I mean, to each his own, but I've gone through and I've shown you option after option after option after option and these are what I've decided on, so science. Someone asked me, one of the questions is for kindergarten, is the focus on series good for kindergarten? Let me pull over all my science stuff. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. Okay, so for kindergarten, I would not use a science curriculum. I think it's kind of wasted. The exception being is discovering God's world only because it's very gentle and it teaches you things like if your nose is stuffed, God gave you another way to breathe and that is through your mouth. So it's not Bible-based, it's God-based and it's very simple and easy and gentle and it teaches them things that you'll be able to remind them like oh close your eyes god gave you eyelids to protect you from dust okay another example of a gentle curriculum if you want secular gentle would be blossom and root very gentle those are my opinions there are other curriculums out there but they are too intensive and i feel like in kindergarten you just have to enjoy life in kindergarten because they're not retaining a ton of information. And I hate wasting like my valuable teaching times if they're not gonna retain it. I would also just pick up a science experiment kit or look up experiments off Pinterest and then say, have them each have a notebook and say like, okay, what do you think's gonna happen? This is your hypothesis. Let's draw what you think's gonna happen and then afterwards discuss the results. So the focus on series is the science series that I'm going to be using for my children. You could teach it anytime between K and four and teaches college age concepts in there. I would not teach in kindergarten. I'm choosing to teach in grade two because I want them to remember a lot of it. But what you can start doing are these focus on readers. And you can go through, I've showed you a million times about the atoms and it's just very simple teaching you, but it taught me about them. Like I didn't understand a lot of this stuff and they have them for geology. They are pricey, so do you need them? No, you don't need them. Okay, so science cards. Very important, bring up at breakfast. Boom, boom, boom. Start getting these things into their memory. The way this program was designed to use, I don't utilize the program. It's a Christian program, I don't utilize it. It is classical conversations, but they have elements that I think are fantastic. And one of these elements is this. I have not written, seen anything Christian on these cards that would bother anyone who is secular. I haven't seen it. But so for example, every day for a week, you mentioned this, like week one, this is the card you're supposed to be talking about. Week two, you move on and every day you mention this card, okay? And on the back, it's got information, for example. And then in year two, you go back, you start back with these cards again so that it's in their long-term memory by the time they get up to where they need to utilize it. So I think that is a fabulous concept. So moving on up, we are talking Dr. Bonify. I think are fantastic, 60 bucks for all four of them, which is the best price I've found. And it just deals with, because we have someone who loves human body, that's what we're talking about. So because we chose the Focus On series and it doesn't need to be taught until anywhere between grade K through four, and it's five different subject areas, we got all these times to pursue what my children love, which is one of them loves the human body. I also got the human body study in it from the Waldorf way. Um, which again is not secular, not Christian, it's, it's neutral. And I just cannot wait um, to utilize that as well. And I'll show you a bunch of STEM body stuff that arrived when it comes. So I'm gonna do a whole STEM thing as soon as I move and as soon, which another week or so, and then I will have access to all of that stuff. So moving on on top of that. Yeah, and then I'm using the Focus On series, okay? So that is my science series, but let me show you a couple other things for science. Human body theater. Again, doesn't talk about the age of the earth, but look at that. It's a skeleton who puts on a play and it just, I would say grade one for this book, grade one or two. Um, but yeah, so human body theater, very cool. And then of course the best book in the world you can get when they are four, Underwater, Under Earth, written by an artist and a teacher. Look at that, those are all the elements in the earth. It, I'm telling you, the amount of stuff you, you just pull out a page and it still has got all the animal burrows under here. It's got 
just all the different, you know, pipes and sewers and roots and trees. A lot of helpful information I think is very cool. Let's talk about an encyclopedia from Usborne that is good for Christian, good for secular as well. Because when it talks about the earth, it does not talk about the age of the earth in here. So I'll, that will appeal to a lot of people. So when it talks, it does talk about your planet, but it doesn't mention the age of it. So Usborne Children's Encyclopedia, because that's another question someone asked, and they asked it about, I believe, some of the history books. So I will show you through those when we get to that topic. Are we there yet? No. Language arts. Oh my gosh, you're dressed. My oh, come here. Could I give you a hug? We put there in two. And I can't feel you on my toe. Oh, did I forget to show you this sciencey stuff? I think I forgot to show you sciencey. Quick, 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 quick. Is that a science one? Oh, another science one. Okay, so I have two science ones. So this is like can be considered secular, if you will, or I guess open to everyone. It just doesn't discuss God, but it's basically got all the elements. Sorry, I will be quick um, in that. And I think it's great along with our Adams kit so that even little kids you can pull out all the way up to, to big kids can learning about these and where we find these elements in day to day life. So I love it. It's like 11 bucks for that book. And this is interesting. This is from master books, I believe. And it's wonders of creation. They do have a curriculum that goes along with it. But what is interesting about this, if you're secular, it's tough to get these and separate the bio from it. I think it would bother you. It doesn't bother me because if I don't agree with something, I'm just like, eh, I don't think that way. Or we don't think that way or a lot of people think that way, but we don't, whether it's secular or like Christian, either way. But this is interesting is that these books have a level one, level two and level three. So level one is for like the basic level for youngest, for the youngest learners. So as you can see, white is for everybody, yellow is for the next level up and three is, and then it's got different words based on that too, that you should be learning. So this is just very interesting. Their books have beautiful, beautiful, beautiful photos. Beautiful, like the cave book, <gasps> amazing. But if you are secular, they will talk about other theories about like fossils and things like that and the age of the earth and different things like that that you may not, that you probably definitely won't be okay with. So you may wanna skip them, but they are just beautiful, beautiful photos. That's why I love them. Okay. Can you say please like and subscribe? Say bye to like. And hit the bell for notifications. Hit the bell for notifications.